buddy Dave Isaacs with you, and today let's call this a Picker's Delight episode. I'm going to take a look at the great instrumental Sugarfoot Rag by Hank Garland. version of the tune from a TV performance in the 1950s and I have the link below in the description if you're watching on YouTube and if you're looking at the blog then you see the link there and what you're reading right now and so we have this sort of hoedown intro and you will recognize these rhythm figures all I'm doing is sliding on the D string from fret 6 to fret 7 and hitting the open A at the same time to drone and we get this one a two a three a four in the right hand, the picking is straight up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So just alternate picking. And this is pretty much what we're going to do through the whole tune. Getting into the A section of the tune, the first part of the head melody, we're going to go on up to the B string at the fifth fret and play five, seven, and then move up to the E string at the 5th fret. This is major pentatonic. Down, up, down. And then we're going to follow that with another major pentatonic lick. 5, 7, 5, 7, 5. That's going to bridge us into a similar lick on the G chord. Watch this. 1, 2, 3. 4 and 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and jump. 2 and 3 and 4. There is a shift here, but it's not terrible. Alternately, you could do what Hank Garland does in the video and start with your middle finger and finger it this way. Two, four, two, two, four, two, four, two, four, reach with one, one, three, one, three, one. And that works too. From here comes the answer lick. We're gonna slide from three to five on the B string, and we might as well brush the open E. It's a cool sound. And then seven with an upstroke. Up, down, and then. So, one E and a two, six, four, seven, four, six, seven, four, seven. steady alternate picking and the only break in that really is the one E and up, down, up, down, up. So the A section then repeats all of that. Now we're in the fourth position meaning my index finger is covering the notes on the fourth fret. That means I can reach four, five, six, seven comfortably. I'm going to use my middle and ring fingers to slide into the fifth and sixth frets on strings two and three as a double stop, a two note chord. Starting basically on the fret below and gliding in, but with an eighth note rhythm. One and. Now, this puts me in position for the pinky to grab fret seven. Watch this. 7 on the A string, 6 on the G, 4 on the G, and 7 on the D. Really just out of an A chord. Here is a D7 lick. Fourth 
position again, starting from the D string. Four, seven, four, five, four, seven, four, seven. I said earlier that the whole thing was A, G, E. I misspoke because there's definitely a D chord, a D7. Because this is the third, fifth, six, seven. Da, da, ba, di, ba, da, da, do, da. Then back to an A chord, and I check this out. Still fourth position. I'm going to do a double hammer on. Or, I like this actually. Hammer, four to five, index middle, slide, five to six. Moving me into fifth position. It's a triplet, 16th note triplet. Ba 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 da da. So. Five, seven, five, six, four, seven. At this point, hopefully you're starting to recognize this A major pentatonic. Seven, four, six, five, seven, one. So a lick like this comes squarely out of it, except that we've got bluesy passing tone, chromatic note. Four, five, six. So the B part. It starts the same way. But check this lick out. Same position. This is the same. But now a bar at the fifth fret covering strings three and two. Slide in with the same rhythm. And then seven, five, four, two which again is a very common blues device where you might go from a major third over the one chord to a minor third over the four chord, which actually creates a minor seventh, um, or rather the blues note in the D7 chord. So watch this. Seven, six, four, seven, fifth fret, seven, five, four, seven, and then back to the original one. Seven, six, four, seven, four, six, seven, four, seven, Here's the whole B section. Now in a full performance of the tune, we'd go on to a solo. In a band situation, you'd have multiple solos, multiple instruments. But for now, we're going to use an A, B, A, B form. So just twice through A section, B section, repeat the whole business, A section, B section. And then we're gonna end with a little tag lick. And this is the one that I pulled from Garland's TV performance like this. Starting in the fifth position, a hammer on and a pull off, five, seven, five. Remember, slap it down, and then snap towards the floor. But then bring that ring finger around to fret seven to the B string. And then open E. So it's a neat little trick. You use the open string to help you shift down to the second position. Watch. This is two, four, five. So hammer pull, seven, oh, two, four, five. Two, oh, two, oh, one, two. Thank you. 
It's not easy. I've had to spend a couple of days practicing it, getting ready for this video, but it's not terribly hard. And if you just don't try to rush it, get that picking clean, be aware of the string crossing, make sure you stay relaxed. Watch that video if you want an example of just how relaxed a right hand can, can look doing alternate picking. So I really hope you enjoy this. I'll be doing more of these Picker's Delight videos, so stick around. I hope you've been exploring the YouTube channel. If you don't subscribe, please do. If you're watching this on Facebook or from the website, thank you very much. Like, comment, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.